The judging panel for this year's International Seafarer and Welfare Awards have been announced. The awards will be presented at a ceremony at the International Labour Organization in Geneva, Switzerland on the opening night of the Maritime Labour Convention Trapart Trade Meeting on December the 12th. The panel members are Spiros M. Polmus, President of the International Shipping Federation, David Cockcroft, General Secretary of the International Transport Workers Federation, Michael Gray, MBE, Distinguished Maritime Journalist and former editor of Lloyd's List. Douglas Stevenson, Chairman of the International Christian Maritime Association. There are four award categories, Seafarer Center of the Year, Port of the Year, Shipping Company of the Year and Welfare Personality of the Year. The first three categories will be nominated directly by seafarers. After receiving a nomination, shipping companies, ports and seafarers centers will be invited to complete a full award submission to take them through a judging stage. The award for Welfare Personality of the Year can be self-nominated or nominated by seafarer organizations or individuals involved with seafarers' welfare. Netherlands-based Marco Polo Sea Trade have been granted court permission to continue trading a significant step forward in a restructuring process. Marco Polo filed at Chapter 11 on July the 29th. On August the 31st, the New York court supervising the company's restructuring approved its continued use of cash revenues derived from the day-to-day -day employment of its fleet from duration of the Chapter 11 cases. The approval was granted with the consent of Marco Polo's primary lenders, Credit Agricole and Royal Bank of Scotland. That's all from here at Waves. See you soon.